Good afternoon. Uh, so at about 1145 hours today, our deputies received information that two individuals uh, were in possession of illegal handguns that were modified to be automatic. Uh, they observed the subjects enter a vehicle. Uh, the vehicle was, uh, they conducted a traffic stop on that vehicle in the area of Pine Hills Road and Balboa. Uh, two suspects uh, exited the vehicle. Uh, one jumped through the uh, rear passenger window with a handgun. Our deputy fired his service weapon at the subject one time and he was captured after a brief foot pursuit. The other subject also fled uh, and, and got away but was captured after a brief search. There was one handgun found at the scene. Uh, fortunately, no one was injured in this incident and there is body worn camera footage of the shooting. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement will investigate the shooting. They will turn their results over to the state attorney's office. After they have completed their review, then we will conduct our own internal investigation. Uh, so the deputy is on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation, and he's been on about uh, nine years. So happy to take any questions at this point. So no, the person was not hit when the deputy fired his weapon. Yeah, I don't have any information on that crash. I don't believe it's related. I do not know where the second person was caught. It was in the area, though. So they were semi-automatic handguns, but were illegally modified to make them fully automatic, which is illegal. Uh, so once we received that information, uh, we conducted surveillance on the, on the folks, uh, did, did a traffic stop, and that's when the one subject uh, exited the vehicle with the firearm. Do we know where that came from? It's from the community. I don't have the ages of the suspects right now. They have no idea what they were going to do with the guns. Was the driver of the car, is that a third person or one of the people? They got into a car, you said? Yeah, they got, the person who was driving the car had nothing to do with the actual incident and those people. Was he an Uber driver? He was a rideshare driver, correct, yeah. Uh, a rideshare Yeah. How are you feeling about all this happening so close to the people who take care of you? So any time that uh, criminals are going to be carrying uh, illegal firearms and exiting vehicle uh, with a firearm is, is concerning to us. So, you know, our deputies are out there doing their job. They're receiving information about people with illegal firearms from the community and, and trying to go out there and, and arrest them, and they did. And going into a scene where they know people have weapons, approaching that, going after them anyway, knowing their own lives are risk. Yeah, so uh, that's a great point. Our deputies risk their lives every single day. This is what these deputies do. That's why we wear body armor uh, and train as hard as they do because uh, it's very dangerous out here with people um, who, criminals who are committing you know, violence um, and, and carrying firearms that are modified to be automatic, clearly illegal. That's correct. As soon as the as soon as the rideshare driver stopped the vehicle, they both jumped out of the vehicle. Correct. And, and one did what? One had a firearm in his hand, and and then that's when he was shot, and then they both fled. Was he facing the deputy when he was shot? So yeah, that's all part of the investigation. Um, I did uh, watch the body cam footage. It happens very very quickly. So, um, um, Go ahead. Yeah, so anytime uh, a deputy calls for emergency assistance, there was someone with a gun, he just fired his weapon, uh, so he calls for emergency assistance. That emergency assistance call goes to all the local agencies around here, so everyone who knows that a deputy is in need of assistance is going to come. Any insight as to what was going through the deputy's head when he decided to fire this weapon? No, we, you know, um, I can only assume that he saw a weapon, was in fear for his life, and fired his weapon. Were any other deputies injured? We have heard from a homeowner who said that they had jumped the fence, that they housed in their kitchen. That suspect might have had some minor cuts. 
Yeah, there was one deputy that I talked to who had bandages on his hand, um, scrape marks, and you know, from going over a fence and hitting the, the street. I have no idea, uh, but that's part of the investigation. So, I'm sorry, Derek, I keep going back to uh, um, passenger jumped out, both of them. One has a gun. That's correct. One had a gun. Your deputy sees that, and he fired. That's correct. And did, the, did he fire at him, the uh, passenger? No, at this point, there's no reason to believe that uh, anyone fired at the deputy. That's correct. So he was not hit? Uh, no, no one, no one was injured, yeah. That's correct. Uh, I always ask this at the Sears conference, what do you think about this, Derek? Modified guns, people jumping out of cars with them, jumping out of Ubers with guns. What's your thoughts on this? Well, you know, there is a small percentage of people in our community who are criminals. And uh, both of these individuals have been arrested numerous times in our community. Uh, and I'm proud of our deputies. They're out there doing their job. Uh, they're they're getting information from the community about criminals with illegal firearms that are modified to be automatic. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that our deputies are out there. You know, it's unfortunate that we have a small percentage of people who aren't going to follow the law, uh, but we're doing our job and arresting the bad guy. Can you say how you were tipped off about the fact that they had the modified gun with the illegal driver? That supported that, or can you say? No, it, it was not from uh, the rideshare driver. That that tip came from the community. So uh, we could definitely look into that. Um, you know, I would say we recover way more firearms that are not modified than we do that are. How's the rideshare driver doing? Uh, uh, the rideshare driver is fine. No one was injured in this incident. So very scary for him. I imagine it was very scary for him. Yes. Sure, Derek, thank you. We'll follow up with a, with a release yeah. for you all. Thank you, Sheriff. Can I have one more question, please? All right, one more. Everything that happened. Well, yes, yeah, certainly any time that uh, someone jumps out of a vehicle with, with a firearm, you know, we're thankful that our deputy wasn't injured. We're thankful that uh, a community member that was nearby wasn't injured. And, and we're thankful that the suspect wasn't injured as well. It, it could have been very bad for him. Thank you.